This is Pleasant Kenobi's party box. He travels all around the world with it and adds new cards and stories to this huge pile of cardboard wherever he goes. Enough! First person to win two rounds of this wins. Right, draw for turn. I will play my land for turn, which is all types. This is all of them, including uh, wastes. And I'll pay a green mana to play a Sedge Scorpion. That's pretty good. If you're good. wondering what the signature is, it's because someone opened it in a booster and put it into their hand. We'll come to that more in a moment. Over to you. I'll draw. I'll also play my land for the turn. I will... Is Am I right in this this being an ace card, which is like a mental... No, that's magic. 100 black mana. That's 100 <laughs> black mana. It's super dark ritual, yeah. Uh, 100 black mana, I'll use one-tenth of that to cast a Kozilek. <laughs> but oh. truth. Uh, when I cast Kozilek, but truth, I draw four cards. <laughs> and it's a 12-12 Eldrazi with Annihilator 4, which when goes to the graveyard, uh, I have to shuffle it in, but I guess we don't do that. So you have 90 mana floating. So I'm correct in assuming that this is an ace card, which can be any card. That any card that's not been cast so far. So it can't be Super Dark Ritual. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll cast Torment of Hailfire for X equals 80. So all of you <laughs> dis either discard a card or sacrifice a creature or lose three life 80 times, please. So you didn't even need this? <laughs> no, I didn't, but I drew this off of that. I think oh. we're dead. So I didn't even get a turn. No. no. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Is everyone ready to draw seven again? Yes. I'm I mean, always ready to draw that seven. That was exactly card. seven. So I go first? <laughs> or harder. Um, Vince, I need help. I have a Power Rangers card. So, the reason it's in here and has no rules text is because when people boost a tutor, they can provide their own boosters. And in this case, it was a copy of 1999's Power Rangers the Trading Card Game. So it's five mana, all colors, Wooberg, five keywords. Flying, Trample, Death Touch, Vigilance, Haste. It's don't, a questing beast. Don't think about it too much because those don't actually line up with the colors of Power Rangers in the image. Don't think about it. In that case, they don't have anything to do. I will draw. I will need your help. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the Yu Gi Oh joker. The Yu Gi Oh joker. I heard Pot of Greed is pretty good. It's any Yu Gi Oh card you can think of that doesn't directly kill a player. Um, I will play then. And I don't quite know what this means, but it's a Moki Moki. Good choice. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Far better than a Pot of Greed. It's a 300 100. Todd, we just so happen to have a Moki Moki. Ah! It's adorable! It's way cute than I thought. It's adorable, it's also the 300 100 creature! Each of you only has a one third chance of dying next turn, so. Basically, like it's only a seven power. You know, that doesn't make any sense. I want to cast Preordain. Oh, this pile with all the wildest cards in it! I want to scry too, which means I know what you're drawing. Choose to scry this at the bottom, which exiles it. It is gone. You can't put things in the bottom of the library. And I'll draw this card. And we all share a graveyard, so there's now a Preordain in the graveyard. All right. 100 black mana, 100 black mana, 100 black mana. <laughs> It's not 100 black mana. <laughs> uh, I'll play land, and I will... I'll save this removal spell for Tafel's turn. I don't believe you. You're getting attacked. I'll draw. I don't have a removal spell. Mm. I'll play the attack. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't believe me, but you do believe him. I'll, do, play, yeah. I'll play a blocker, because I don't have a removal spell. <laughs> Whenever you scry, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. I pay six to scry two. What a great rate. It's a two two. It's your turn, Todd. I'll draw. <laughs> I'll play a card for and then I will take Jamin. Anyone wants to cast their removal spell before mine? I'm gonna pass priority. Um, I'll tap my mana, so priority resets. You may take an action. Uh, I'm not doing anything. This oh. feels exactly like CDH. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I'll take 300 damage. Bam! <laughs> oh. I will tap two and play a walking ballista for one. Walking ballista comes into play with one counter, because I paid two mana, and then you keep on talking. <laughs> and then I can remove a counter to deal one damage to any target. Vince, is there a story behind this? Yeah, someone sent me it. I can see you through it. <laughs> yeah. That's so wild. So a viewer was like, uh, when Walking Blister was at the height of its price, was like, I've made some old border ones and sent it to me. Uh, and it's a bit dark. It as, is. You can see, as you can see. So it's essentially a, uh, a proxy for the purposes of cube. And now Walking Bliss is worth like, I don't know, pennies, right? Well, now it's worth one damage because it has a counter. My turn now? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, I need an answer from Moki Moki. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the Pokemon Joker. Oh. I'm gonna use Boss's Orders. So I'd like to switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. In short, I would like you to swap with that with a creature that you have in your hand. So this goes to my hand. Well, if it was a creature, it would, but because it's a Joker, it can't change zones, it just gets exiled. 
So you tell me I lose this 300, 100 for nothing. Well, no, you get to put something in your hand to play, which is a bit of a gamble. Ah, cause... just in case I have a 300, 100 in my hand. Do you have any other creatures in hand? Uh, yes, uh, I assume this works, but I would like to pull Mitch Hagramon into play. <laughs> That, that it does indeed work. So how much power does that have? I assume 7,000. Yes, so 7,000, 7,000. Well, so I would call it a tiny upgrade. <laughs> on attacking, I gain three memory, and on the end of turn, I lose three memory. So memory in Digimon, for those of you who have not played it, is mana. I'll drop. <laughs> Do you have anything to do with this, Carl? I'm going to full EDH mode now. I can only attempt to block it. Can you put 20 cards in the graveyard? <laughs> it was it a success? In a game of Commander, that would really tilt me, but in this, it just doesn't, it just doesn't matter. So I'm assuming you can't then. I'm gonna play this land. Okay. And I'll hope not to get attacked by the dinosaur. So you're hopeless. I draw a card. I'll play end. And I think we're going for the whole glory. So instead of doing the cool play, which I know, Sad for all of you. I will switch to flow chess your book. I could have switched to flow chess myself. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a metal Greymon. Correct. Would you say it's an artifact? Correct. No, 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 no. I would like to wreck those charm your metal Greymon. <laughs> I I've got a response. Oh come on. I'm gonna draw a card. Oh. Continue. I'd like to destroy your metal Greymon. I gain two life. Alright, oh. eat one. I'll take one. Twenty-one. I pass it. Oh, I live to draw another day. Did you draw a day? No. Was it another day? Yeah, do you already have a day? I was in really hand? hoping I'd survive long enough to be able to play this Boris Reckoner and then just sit there. So you can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Reckoner is a three mana Minotaur Wizard, and it says whenever it is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target creature or player, and for one red or white, it can gain first strike into end of turn. I will draw a card. I'll play this tapped. I will play a Tainted Remedy. I feel like there's some wacky stuff in here. It's an enchantment that if an opponent would gain life, that player loses that much life. It instead. makes Plowshares into a lethal kill spell against Digimon. Untap. Draw. I play an Infest Town, and I will put a counter on my walking with a step. What a terrible turn in this format. I attack her. I'm gonna untap and draw for the turn. I play this face down, I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm going to attack Toroff for three. I'm then gonna just write and replicate my Boris Reckoner and make a second Reckoner. Oh! I'm passing the turn, I've done my damage. I'll draw. So you guys all know about the Power Rangers, but I've never seen anyone actually play this. So I would like to play Urza, Academy Headmaster. I'll plus one Urza. Sorry, I, I, I knocked your card really <laughs> can violently. Can you not dent the card with the dice if you can? Huh. 12. That's a 12, and that means reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield, otherwise put it into your hand. <laughs> I think I... For the purpose of party box, it can be either. Okay. Ooh. So, do I still reveal it, right? That feels pretty good if Tov gets another Digimon. So, I'll put this Revenant Chupacabra in my hand. And I'll pass to you. I'll draw. I'll play a card face down as my land for the turn. And I will attack Oza for two. After combat, I will play a Prophet of Crucifix. That means all lands and creatures untap. And I have flash. That's good with this. Deck. Isn't that banned? No, it's actually just fun. Untap in your upkeep. He does that joke every time. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, I place this face down. I'm gonna play my three mana, uh, 10,000 power, uh, one toughness knight. One toughness? Yeah, he's a 10,000 one. And then when he attacks, he also gets plus 4,000. I'm also gonna cast this Teferi's emblem. That's just free. All things without a mana cost so free. So every time you draw a card, you exile something. Yes. Oh no, pass the turn. I, before your turn ends, I would like to put a counter on my ballista. Yes. I would like to tick up my Urza. Come on. Destroy target emblem. 14. Draw a card, then add one mana of any color. Oh. I will add a greed mana with it. Sure. I will also play this land. I will play an set using the green mana. I will take Narset down, meaning I look at the top four cards of my library, I may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from it, and put it into my hand. The rest is exiled, because you can't shuffle anything. I'll get a cryptic command. Oh, oh no. I'll play my Chupacabra. It enters the battlefield and destroys target creature and opponent controls. So I'll get rid of this. Wow. The Reckoner. Teferi's emblem has literally made me arch enemy. At the end of turn, I would like to cast a Palest Trailer because it has flash from my prophet, and I would like to exile this copy. All right. This you are the monarch. I now have a crown to my head. Long live the. If I, I would be king, monarch. I would do king all the time. 
I will draw. I will play land fest down, and then use one counter from my ballista to deal one damage to this 10,000 creature. <laughs> then I will attack four or six. I will use the ballista for one more. So it's seven damage. Seven damage down to 13. Then at the end of turn, because I am the monarch, I will draw a card. I'm so sorry. It no. goes back. Womp womp. Okay, sure. I will untap. <laughs> I'm going to get my upkeep. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to trigger my Teferi's emblem. I'm going to target this. Uh, in response, I will cast a Grave Titan. Sure. So I will get two zombies. Nothing makes sense today, so your zombie has a snake. Ah, oh, it's my zombie <laughs> snake yes. token! I love it! Okay. I'm gonna make a land drop, and I'm gonna pass the turn suspiciously with this mana up. <laughs> it's a Lorcanic card. Well, you can play it as ink in your inkwell if you'd like to. Yeah. I'll take down my Narset. Looking at the top four cards, I will show the Warmonger, which is a hero. That's a non-creature card, right? I can get is it. Is it a creature? It's a hero somehow? That's not a creature. Okay, if I exile the Warmonger, creatures I control get plus two plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. Correct. I will also plus my Urza. 19! 19. 19 sounds pretty good. Until your next turn, whenever a creature deals combat damage to Urza, destroy that creature. I will play a... If it's not Baroque. It's a three mana action that return an item card from your discard. Oh, what's an item? Do I need Artifact. to get it? Oh, okay. Digimon are artifacts, because they're made out of digital artifacts. They are digital monsters. I will get this Digimon. And then I will play the Warmonger. Uh, if I exile it, creatures I control get plus two plus zero and gain haste until I return. Vince, you have all this open mana. I do indeed. I'm going to Digivolve. My Ravenous Chupacabra. And also because it's Digivolution, you draw a card. That's in the rules of Digimon. What? Don't mind if I do. Vince, I'll attack you. Me? Yes. What you got? So I have three mana. The memory resolves. I would like to get a block, so at which point the memory will be gone. I'm gonna pay four mana. I'm gonna cast a very cryptic command. I'm gonna choose for turn target permanent to controller's hands. I'm gonna target the Narset, and I'm gonna choose the mode draw two cards and discard a card. Narset's in my hand. And then we're gonna resolve this. It's draw two cards and discard a card. I'm gonna discard Relentless Rats. I'm gonna target the Metal Greymon and the Grave Titan to exile them both with my Teferi's emblem. I attacked you with the Digimon. You exiled it with a Teferi emblem. Correct. This game is wild. <laughs> I will pass. Ante. Draw. Sure. I would like to attack Vince for the all power I have, which is currently nine. I want to tap one bullet. I'm going to cast Ancestral Visions and draw three cards. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, this resolves. This resolves, yeah. So I draw three cards. One, two, three. To, uh, to very Emblem Drink is going to stack. Because of my life total, I'm just going to exile this, this, and this. I will sacrifice Ballista to deal three to your face. And post combat, for my six mana, I will cast Sire of Insanity. Whoa! Whoa! That's some legacy stuff going on At over the here. beginning of each end step, each player discards his or her hand. I would like to trigger the Monarch first and this after. So this resolves first. Oh. Then I will draw a card from the Monarch uh, in its turn. Wow. Trigger, I'm going to exile your Sire of Insanity. And I'll play a Wolves player. Oh. State-based actions don't apply to me or other permanents I control. Mm. I'll draw. I'll take up the Urza. Here's the die. Eight. During the target opponent's next turn, creatures that player controls attack Urza if able. I'll play an Esper Sentinel. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'll pass you, Todd. Untap. Draw. I will attack it with my 2-2 two zone. I will take the two damage. Then I will play a card face down at the end of the turn. I'll draw a card because I'm the mono. I'm gonna untap, draw a card for turn, I'll trigger my emblem and I'm gonna target Urza. So That's I annoying. Attack him. I thought you loved fun. I do, but now I've got to attack him and I want the monarchy. I'm gonna to go to combat, I'm gonna attack Toralf. Yes. So you've taken one. Toffled on to 16. I'm the king, baby. Post combat, I'm gonna cast Venusaur. It has 100 HP and damage stays on it, because that's how Pokemon works. And it has a four mana activate ability to shoot six damage at any creature. It also has a Pokemon power that I'm just gonna ignore, because it never comes up. End of turn, I'm gonna trigger the monarchy. I'm gonna draw a card. And I'm gonna exile Carl's Warmonger. Okay. I don't fancy you like hasting out a random dragon or something, you know? I'm gonna play a Liliana Dread Horde General. It's got six loyalty, and whenever a creature I control dies, I draw a card. Uh, but I, here I'm gonna care about the minus four, which each player sacrifices two creatures. My Esper Sentinel dies, so, so I will draw a card. So does my Venusaur and my Rose Lawyer. I'll pass the turn. 
I don't think we'll ever get to beat this Teferi's emblem. I think we're okay. I will cast an energy potion. From what I understood, it's a zero mana artifact that gives me two mana, and then I will sacrifice it for two mana. And I will cast Ugin, the spirit dragon. Holy shit. For plus two, I can deal three damage to any target creature or player. For minus X, I can exile every colored permanent that costs X or less. And for minus 10, I draw seven, gain seven, and put seven permanents on the field. Well, we're gonna at least attempt to deal three damage to you. I take three. And I will play Mines of Moria as my land for the turn which makes a red, or I can exile three cards from your graveyard to create two treasure tokens. I'm gonna draw for turn, trade the fairy's emblem, and unfortunately have to kill the Ugin. Mm. What a surprise. I'm gonna play that face down and cast Wand of Wonder. Full mana and tap, roll a d20. Each opponent exiles cards on top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery card, then shuffle the rest of the library. We can't do that. You may cast up to X instant or sorcery spells from among the cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. And on a 1 to 9, it's 1. On a 10 to 19, it's 2 spells. On, on a 20, it's 3. Trigger the monarchy. Trigger the emblem. Exile Liliana. Does that make sense? All right, Carlos. I'll pass the turn. Come on, something good. I mean, everything can be. It is really everything. Like a really big Pokemon. Is it Spider-Man? Everything's Spider-Man now. I will pass the turn. I'll draw for turn, trigger the emblem, and I'll start doing the really gratuitous thing of exiling everything. So we'll start with this. That's already what you were doing for like the last three turns. And I'm gonna activate Wand of Wonder. So I'm gonna roll d20 and get a 20. So you get to cast Nat three spells. 20? I get to cast three spells if I have three opponents, which I don't. So if you hit two lands, it does nothing, right? No, this is a commander card, so it doesn't, it doesn't let you fail. Uh, it keeps going until it hits an instant or sorcery and then I get to cast it. So flip cards, not that. So only instant or sorcery. Correct. Guys, I've got bad news. <laughs> I've got bad news. <laughs> it's a brilliant ultimatum. Remove the top five cards of your library from the game. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. You may play any number of cards from those without piles without paying their mana. From one of those piles. <laughs> I'm glad that's something. <laughs> just in thief. Okay. And oh. Create a green, green, blue fractal creature token. The number of cards in the library. Right, I'm gonna cast my body double thingy my bobby. It's yes. not called body double, it's called body of research first, to get out of the way. And now we need to resolve a brilliant ultimatum. Brilliant. So I'm gonna remove the top five cards of my library from the game. I'm gonna offer it to an opponent to so split it into two piles, and I get to cast one of those piles. May I show you what we have yes, on offer of today? Course. There's a flicker wisp I heard that very strong. Seems pretty in good. Spot. There's an elaborate extra turn card. Yes. There is a Golgari charm. There is a Steam Augury, some excellent card draw. And there is a, Ma oh, a Maelstrom Wanderer. Okay, so the Wanderer will give my big fatty haste. So who does the pile? Carl ah. can do the pick. That's a what what? It's a approximately a... 457. If I give you a bunch of cards, you're not attacking me, right? Okay, if you split it for one, I will not attack you with the body of research. That's suspiciously worded, I would say. <laughs> I take this. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not into play, I actually get to cast it. So I'm gonna trigger my Cascade, which hits a Digimon, because he is three mana and he's less than eight. So that's 3,000 power. Wait, you Cascade twice? Yes, yeah, Cascade and Cascade. And then we hit John, no sorry, Clean Clean, which gives target creature plus 5,000 power. I would say before any of the comments say, this is rigged. This is not real. <laughs> oh, hang on, this is still on the stack. Yeah, the, both this... of those are still on the stack. Oh, sugar puffs. Sugar puffs. I've got to give my 257. And... Uh, the extra 5,000 power. That's the only one unfortunate. It's very necessary. Oh, I draw a card as well. Of course. Trigger, <laughs> the, trigger the emblem, target the Minds of Moria. Mm. And then Maelstrom Wonder resolves. But the most important part of this entire puzzle is that Maelstrom Wonder gives everything haste. Oh, sorry. Uh, 3,000 damage at Carl, because this isn't allowed to attack you. We established that. And then the body of research, which is doing some cleaning, is going to clean, clean Trough's face. Would you like the honors? All right, off you may to go. the races. I will play a land. I will play a Joker, which is a Black Lotus. Ah. <laughs> and I will crack it. Oh, no, get, no, sorry, you carry on. I won't do that. That's very kind. I'll crack the <laughs> Lotus to cast a Flicker Wisp. I assume if he's spending a Lotus on a Flicker Wisp, this is pretty good. It happens. All right, ding. Uh, I don't even float the mana because I'm that risky of a player. So I exile the card, 
and then I put it onto the battlefield at my end of turn. It's Grave Retrial. Whenever a creature I don't control dies, return it to the battlefield under my control with an additional plus one plus one counter. Go ahead. I think it's pretty good. Imagine starting with a ley line of Grave Betrayal in play. Yeah. Like in another format. On playland. I don't play Lotus Petal. <laughs> A lotus petal? I saw this as like, oh, this black lotus is gonna be so <laughs> sweet. And then you had a black lotus and now I have a lotus that petal. That is absolutely the most embarrassing thing I've ever it's seen. It's a little happen. bit disappointing. You are aware that any mox makes a lotus petal and better. I'll play a mox jet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play a mox sapphire, actually. I'll pass to you. So you play mox and do nothing? Well, he's got two blue mana open, I think, is what he's gesturing at you with. Disappointing. I think he's faking it, though. I'll draw. I am. I'll play card for stuff. That's the turn. I don't need this. I'll play Fem Magic. Yeah. I'm gonna make a, a green mana and play Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is an artifact creature because he's made out of Lego. And he just says one mana, everyone draws one card, and he's a zero two. Everyone draws everyone a card. Everyone gets Santa a Claus gift. brings all the presents. And if you kill him, you're a bad person. I will draw. I'll play a land for the turn, and I'll attack Vince for three. What? Yeah, because you have Santa Claus. You won the other game. Go ahead, Carl. I'll remember this. End of turn, I'd like to booster tutor. I think this is a format where it's fun in. Oh, okay. What are we opening? Open a sealed magic booster pack, reveal the cards, and put one of those cards into your hand. No, it's better than that, because the card gets signed by you and dated for today's date and goes into the cube. That's why Santa is in here. It was a packet of Sainsbury's promo Lego cards opened via a booster tutor. That's hilarious. So the stakes are so high, I have to pick something good. Well, no, that's why there's Dread uh, Scorpion as well. Someone just <gasps> wanted one, one blocker at a time. Wait, I, I have the best pack for this. This is our editor, Philly. It was my birthday recently. He offered me for my birthday a booster pack to be opened specifically with Booster Tutor. How often do you cast booster tutors then? We play a lot of cube. Ah. So this is a mystery booster, Call birthday edition, 15 draftable game cards, Richard Garfield game. Let's open up the pack. So you have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. It seems that there's an angel song, preventable combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Okay, a so beacon of immortality, double target player's life total. I don't think I need that up. A tinker. You can't search your library, I'm afraid. A compulsion. <laughs> no way! There's a booster tutor in the booster tutor. Oh! I mean, the mini cube could do with a second booster tutor. There's a murder. There's a Riku, an Infinity Elemental, a Nova Run, a Thrashing Brontodon, a Destiero Despiadado. Merciless with, Eviction. Merciless Eviction. Deny Reality, Assemble a Legion, Tatiova, Benthnish Druiden, and Thran Dynamo. Guys, I think I'm gonna go for the booster tutor. Wait, if I boost a tutor twice, do you get both in the queue? Yes. So this booster tutor is about to get signed and sleeved and live in here forever. So signing and dating. Do you want to sign it as well? Yeah. All sure. right. And then when people play this at Magic Cons with me, they'll see this card and be like, is that the card from the Magic Market video? Yeah. I'm like, how do you know about that? Because the video isn't out yet. And they're like, I'm a time traveler. <laughs> oh, wow. So guys, that was fun, right? Because we're going to do it again. So we brought a tasting platter. Yamin, I may need the booster pack. Of course. You have some jump start. You have Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle Earth. You have Pokemon off Deutsch and Popo. Sure. We have whatever's in this tin of Yu Gi Oh cards. Are they in English? I yeah. can't promise that. I cannot promise that. They're in hieroglyphic. Yeah, I hope your ancient Egyptian is up Tasty. to snuff. I think we're on Yu Gi Oh. Wait, wait, but how are you casting the second booster tutor? That's a mock That's sapphire. A sapphire. Oh, we have to wait until your turn. I will go to my turn in my upkeep. All right. I, this is how committed I am. I'll get booster tutor. <laughs> All right, that looks 2012 20. Tin of Lost Memories Mega Pack. If Don't I draw magician. all of a Dexodia in here, can I can I just win the game? Yes. Yes. Sure. I think it's unlikely. If oh, it's, agree to be great. There are so many cards in here. That's a lot of cards. Okay. I think How many we have cards is that? This one is a zero mana 18. 300 600. Danger Ogopogo is really expensive to play. What does it do? <laughs> Good question, Vince, you ask. It's a Sea Serpent effect. It's got 1,200 attack, 3,000 defense, and you can reveal this card in your hand. Your opponent randomly chooses one card from your entire hand, then you discard the chosen card. Oh. Then, if the discarded card is not Danger Oko Pogo, special summon one Danger Oko Pogo from your hand, and if you do, draw one card. You guys are ready? I was born ready. Du, 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 du. This is the last time you'll ever know. Did you just put that under a that's already broken? It also doesn't fit the sleeve. <laughs> this goes to the grave. That's two boosts. If someone gets spelled by they can cast booster tutor twice. I'll play this land face down. I will activate my 
Danger Ogopogo. Danger Ogopogo! This you, is it. You can put it back in your hand now. Talf? Yes. You have the honors. If you reveal something that is not Danger Ogopogo, I get Danger Ogopogo. Where is the danger? One sec. Ah. <laughs> Don't forget to resolve the whole trigger. Yeah, you discard the card Toffle revealed. And you draw a Victor. replacement card. I draw a card. That's so good. I'll pass you. I will draw. If you can kill it right now, that'd be very funny. I'll play that. And for two minutes, I will play my Joker card. It's an August Bowmaster. When August Bowmaster enters the battlefield, it will deal one damage to that Flicker Wisp. Why? I will get an army. This Tinker is not my army. I will sacrifice my army and my Orcish Bowmasters. Excellent. To cast the Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> no! <laughs> Which I needed two tributes for because it's an eight star monster. I did this correctly, right? Oh, uh, don't look at me. I vaguely know how you get away. I think I think that's correct. Nice. So uh, how big is your... So you might have noticed that I kept a blue card in my hand. Carl. There can only be one Yu-Gi-Oh card Carl. on the board. Carl. With Yu-Gi-Oh Bros. Yu -Gi -Oh or Yu-Gi Bros? Yu-Gi Bros. No, no. Or Yu-Gi Knows! I would like to counterspell it! Oh, okay. Oh! That is just rude. I think that was excellent, actually. Yeah, I agree. Go. I'm gonna untap and draw for turn. I don't like how happy you are. <laughs> I'm gonna play. A bow of the hunter is a free hero artifact from the Born of the Gods pre release. It's an equipment that you got to make like extra bits onto it at the pre-release. So this one says, whenever a equipped creature deals damage, untap two target lands. Equipped creature also has, tap it to deal two damage to any target creature or player. And has two mana to equip it. I'm gonna pay two mana to equip Santa Claus with a bow. So, so this has just become the most overpowered mana dork of all time. Yes. I'm gonna deal two damage to Toroth's face. I just got shot by Santa Claus. I'm gonna trigger the second ability of Bow of the Hunter to untap my lands. Oh. oh. Pass the turn. <laughs> All right, I guess I will untap and draw. Play a land, and I, I don't have anything to do with my mana. This doesn't <laughs> have a mana cost. I'll play La Vida Loca, oh. Ricky Martin. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long debate about this. We talked online with like Twitter and my Discord. I think you put on the community post and yes. everything. And we've come to the conclusion that the best way to do this is to live La Vida Loca, yeah. to go dancing in the rain, to take our clothes off. But what that really means is that you get to choose how we rotate. We, we put down our hands, we stand up, we change seating, and we continue the game in a different seat at the table. I'll choose clockwise. I go there. I would like to respond. To no! Cast Dark Ritual. Three black mana. I'll use two of it to make an orcish bowmaster. I'm gonna shoot Toroth for one. Oh! That makes sense. Well, I, I'm not being Toroth. So. And I need an yes. army. There are many jokers in the cube, and I've drawn one, but I had nothing real good to do with my turn. So I'm gonna use the red mana, plus the floating black mana from the Dark Ritual to cast Pyretic Ritual, giving me three mana. I'm then gonna sink all three mana into Santa Claus, one at a time, activating Santa Claus for each player to draw a card. There'll be three separate triggers that when they resolve, everyone draws a card, which will then trigger Bowmaster three times, because three players' opponents are drawing cards for nine total Bowmaster triggers, which are gonna target two here, one here, and six up to half space. Obviously. Obviously. So we all draw three cards. Everyone draws three cards. These now go... No, no, no. They to go graveyard, to the... graveyard. I believe this is a trigger. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so the two triggers on the stack. I would like to pay two life to Noxious Revival, the center class to the top of the array. Uh, okay, so no one's done Force of Will this time around, right? So oh. I'm gonna pitch for Soothe and Shapeshift as a Force of Will. I lose a life and I'm gonna attempt to count Noxious Revival. I lose a life. Yeah, you don't even lose a life. He'll lose a life. You basically just gave your creatures oh. through the underworld to yourself. Yes. It resolves. Can I finally resolve my Vida Loca? Everyone put down your hands. I'll rotate this way. All right, let's do it. My turn. I'm going to play this Axe of the Warmonger, and then I guess I'm going to resolve. I'm going to go to end step and put those triggers in the stack for Grave Patrol. Hard work pays off. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, trigger. I'll uh, now shoot Toralf, who was formerly me. I'll enter. I'll draw. Uh, I'd just like to note that now one person has both an Orcish Bowmaster and Santa Claus, which seems like an issue to me. I'll play land. 
and I will solve one issue by yeah, hitting Carl. Okay. You're not a problem. Bye bye. I don't. I I need to do something before you die. I'm going to use you. So I'm going to just do the same thing with Santa again. I'm pumping three mana into him. Everyone's drawing three cards, and I'm getting nine Orcish Bowmaster triggers. So you take you take nine, and I make another ten luck. ten. This is this is this is wonderful. I'm having fun. Uh, I'll play a Blood Artist, and then I will have to discard to hand size, and I'll discard an Overrun. And him. I will attack Vince with my 10 10 Orc Army. I'm gonna do a block. I'm gonna go for a trade with the Orc Army. I think Santa plus Bowmasters is a combo. But would see play in Legacy. Well, shall I me my badai me? Well said. <laughs> since you said that. You have to repel oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, I called it. Sure, I'll take 10. Yes, first strike your army. Yeah, yeah. And then you take 10. I tried everything. <laughs> So I will target Vince. Vince goes to nine. I will play a land. Okay. I'm going to untap and draw a card. I'll put Magus the Moon face down because that doesn't seem like a fun card right now. And then I'm going to activate Santa Claus once. So we all draw a card. I ping two damage into his Yaman's face and I make a 2-2 two, two Orcish Army token. I draw the card. It doesn't change my game plan. I do it again. And for the two damage here, I target one at Blood Iced. Yep. And one at your face. So this goes down. You lose one, I lose one and gain one. So I stay at 10. And now I equip my Orcish army with Axe of the Warmonger, which is a Born of the Gods pre release equipment that gives double strike haste, plus two, plus one, all for the lower cost of two mana. And then we're going to combat. You have no blockers, you have open mana. I do. But can you stop my six, five double striking Orc army that now has haste? I can't. Sorry, buddy. You had the. 5,000 power, whatever it was. Duh, you're the only one to Hold your horses, I have a trigger here. The Blood Ice comes back. With a plus one, plus one counter. With a plus wow. one, plus one counter. I'm gonna discard the hand size. Horn of the Bark, Lava Mancer, San Quan, Lord of Wu. Lord of who? Lord of Wu. Yeah. Uh, you know the Wu-Tang Clan? I don't have much, but <laughs> I can hurt myself a little to maybe find some options. I will cast treasure. Great idea. <laughs> Which is whole move. The equivalent from smacking yourself in the face. Okay. But one, two, three. I'm going to target all three triggers at your face. Look, I have a party head. This is basically my birthday. I would like to negotiate with a birthday escape. <laughs> sure. It's just a draw. You know, it's my last wish. Party. Happy birthday. I will draw. <laughs> Why is there an egg? Imagine you need the, the best card possible and you draw a shitty egg. So this card was in an 8th edition draft that my wife decided to come along to at my friend's house and she was bored shitless. So she was like drawing stuff and we were talking about rock egg because I was flinging at people with a bloodshot cyclops. So egg became a, a thing we talked about a lot. My wife was like, oh I've drawn you an egg. So I slid it into the sleeve and it's lived there for approximately 10 years. So I will do the best thing I can do with this egg. Greetings to his wife. I will play as a land. <laughs> anyway, take one damage. Out. And then I will equip my Orcish army with the, orc, the bow of the hunter. Okay. I have way too many cards, and it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap and attempt to murder you with my Orcish army. Fighting words. And I've drawn this, which is a joker. So I guess I am quite literally going to attempt to murder Ugh. the orc oh, army. There's like 20 better cards to get. <laughs> but it fits what I said. Also, I don't think I've ever done three jokers in one game before. I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah, I would take blood as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll do another Santa Claus trigger for you. <laughs> well oh. I don't know why I'm blowing this, because I lost. You game. did lose. I won, which is kind of embarrassing, because I brought it here, so I feel like I... And also the first game had that bit where I was like, actually, this card works this way, and people are going to think I made it up. I didn't make it up. If you run into Vince, Pleasant Kenobi, at any event or anywhere, maybe if you play this with him, if you have a booster tutor, it's your opportunity to make history, because this is an ongoing game. He plays this everywhere. You even made a video about it. Yeah, I've got a video on my channel talking about why I made the thing I did and why it's so... Strange. I won't bore you with those details right now, but you can find out the more extensive story, the, the behind the curtain of why Party Box exists over on my channel. Actually, we'll do you a favor. We'll link it at the end of the video. If you can't wait to see it, first of all, I remind you, please subscribe. We really enjoyed it, and that's how we show our bosses so that we're doing the right thing. But one of our videos and one of Vince's videos, this one specifically, are going to show up in three, two, one. Click it. Yes, come on. I know it's still rolling. You, you have to click the video. It's really good, I promise. This is the end card. We're in it now. Just, just click the video already. All right. Meh. <laughs>